Sup, Penanguses. This is the F Class 97. Excuse me while I drink this water. <laughs> Alright, and today we're going to be doing another How To Icon. Now, this is a basic necessity that um, that a lot of people should know. I'm surprised I haven't done a video about this yet as far as, like, generally explaining everything. This is going to be a short video. This is just going to be some quick explanation. Basically, we're going to talk about online and how Eichmann works online. This is for any Eichmann project, whether it be one that you're sharing just with your friend privately or you're playing an Eichmann that, like, you know, has a group of 100 people. So, you know, just, like, either... if if it's either a uh, project or just a simple thing you made with your friend that you just want to play it online. This is just going to cover how Eichmann works as far as the online. And this is just basic stuff. Nothing advanced. If anything, we can talk about advanced techniques or some other bullshit. Advanced techniques. What is this? Melee? I'm sorry about that. I'm doing this off the cuff. Uh, just basic explanation. So... To just describe Eichmann, you know, Eichmann is Mugen Online, that's the main gimmick, you know, online functionality and whatnot. Um, and we're just going to discuss how it works. It's fairly simple. Uh, the way Eichmann Online works, it's uh, PvP or P2P, something like that, you know, peer base. Like, basically, it's like you get one host and one person to join. Now, of course, there are, there's like one exception, you know, eventually some, you know, hopefully we'll get some server thing working because there's one Eichmann that does that. But, uh, unfortunately, it's offline. You know, like, uh, you can't download it anymore. But, um, we'll try salvaging that sometime. But anyways, that's how Eichmann works. Eichmann is online. The way the, the way Eichmann works online is that you have one person hosting a game and you have one person joining the game. And it's a one versus one type of thing. And we're going to explain how this works. We're going to explain how to, how, how to play any Eichmann online. There are two main methods. You can get a program or you can port forward. Uh, what port forwarding is, basically it opens your ports of your router or whatever internet you're using and it allows people to join. This could be used for many things, not just Eichmann. This could be used for many other online games and online things like uh, Fightcade or anything that works online. Uh, some of them require port forward, others don't. And with Eichmann, what's special about it is that you can use two methods. You can use you can either port forward. If you want to do that, that is considered one of the best methods since you get the fastest speed. You don't have any other issues with a uh, connection whatever but um uh, like <clears throat> as far as connecting and anything interfering with it goes but of course you know there are some downsides here there and if you want to look up how to pour forward there are tons of tutorials out there for your for like specific routers or whatever uh we're not going to cover that but it's 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 basically the same thing as far as like getting it to work online so learn how to pour forward now if you don't know how to pour forward like it doesn't help you or you just don't want to pour forward which i can understand um, there's the alternative, which is using programs. There are tons of programs out there, but the one I highly recommend is Evolve. Evolve allows you to kind of create, like, groups or, like, you know, stuff like that to play with, uh, certain people. Now, let's explain how this works. So let's just turn on your, uh, let's say any Eichmann, like, uh, whether it's, you know, one with your friend or whatever. Let's just take this one, for example. Uh, you open up your Eichmann, you know, standard, you know, you get your stuff, you get your character selects and stuff. Now, let's play this online. Um, I'm going to be opening two of these just to show you, but this, you know, just to show you. Uh, let me just minimize this here. We're going to open up two Eichmanns just to just to explain. Now, one thing that is important is that you get, if, you, if you're if you not forwarding, then get a program like Evolve. You know, it's free account, it's free, you know, safe. You can uh, go ahead and download it. It's in the description. Make an account and download it. There are also other programs out there like um, Tungle, Hamachi, if you can still manage to use that. Uh, zero tier. There's other, and there, you know, there's others. There's tons of other um, programs out there as well, uh, but they all work the same as far as connecting to the other person. Uh, I personally like Evolve. So what you're gonna do is, of course, you're gonna get Evolve. You're gonna need an account and shit. And with Evolve, what's good about it is that you can make a group with uh, a bunch of people, so you can have like a small little group thing. Uh, I there, here's a few. There's some that I made, like these two, and some that I joined. Uh, but if you want to make a party, you just go under like create party and that's it you just give it a name or whatever and you just invite people invite friends or whatever so let's just join my official netmugen it doesn't matter where you're joining it it's just as long as you get one to join it'll uh you know it'll download a like a like a uh, like an adapter or whatever the first time you download it just let it do its thing and once you get all that set it's pretty straightforward so you just join a party it's entering party right now so uh the connection time sometimes varies a lot of times it's really fast Right now I have a few things running, so it might be a little bit too much at the moment. You know, sorry if my uh, thing is lagging. Let me actually close these two Eichmanns. 
Uh, it doesn't take this long at all. It's just because I'm, you know, recording. It's, um, you know, it's a. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. When you're not recording or whatever, it's pretty. It's fine. It works almost instantly. I recommend turning off your speakers. Just right click and just do this. Of course, it doesn't matter if you know. But I, I like doing that. So yeah, you basically have this. You'll have people. You can send invites and stuff. You know, and you just have a bunch of people. This is fairly simple. So just get your room. Now you can open up your Eichmann. Let's open up two again. Hopefully, I'm sorry if it lags. You know, it's well, a lot of shit going on at once. Sorry about that. <laughs> now to play online, you uh, you have one person joining and one person hosting. To do this, you go to NetPlay. If you're playing a project that has some other name like Net Mode, Network, Online Battle, anything like that, that's genuinely the same thing. To host a game, one person that's hosting has to, uh, you know, click on that NetPlay thing, and here it'll be like an input server. If you're hosting, you just click OK and nothing else. Also, if this pops up, this is extremely important. This might pop up, or no, rather, this will pop up when you have an Eichmann that you've never played before or whatever. When this pops up, make sure you have both p private networks and public networks checked in and press Allow Access. Make sure both are checked in. If you don't, then you will have an issue with Eichmann playing it online. The issue is either only you can only join games, you can only host games, or you can't connect at all. So make sure both are um, checked in. Sorry about that. If, you, if they're not checked in or you don't remember or you want to fix it, simply go to your start menu and, and you know look for your firewall. If you have Windows 10, you can do something like this. Or whatever Windows you have, just so, uh, basically go to your firewall. It's best to type in allow allow an app allow an app or allow a program however it may be just you know follow just follow this if you, in case you don't know or like if you accidentally didn't check both you go here you can go to system security windows firewall allow apps or allow programs whatever um, whatever it's named like and you'll get something like this go to change settings and look up the icomen.exe also recommended to um, Excuse me. Also recommended to look up like Evolve in case if it's there or anything you're using to play online. I have a few of these because you know I play <laughs> Eichmann a lot. Just make sure both are checked in for every Eichmann.exe or whatever. Or if you're playing like a specific game like Netmugen, make sure all are checked and you press OK. And then you know sometimes you might need to restart Eichmann or whatever. So you know you get one person hosting, and they don't click on anything. They just press OK. Now for the person joining, let's say I'm joining my own game or you're joining a friend. The person that's hosting, you get their IP. And no, this is not the real IP. If you're using something like Evolve, it makes up its own IP that you can use, so you don't have to worry about anyone hacking to your thing. It just makes up its own thing. So you go to that person's name. Make sure you can see this, by the way. Make sure it's this. If it's green or blue, it doesn't really matter, but um, just make sure you can see this. You right-click on their name, and you go to Copy IP. That's for the host. The host doesn't have to do anything. They're just waiting. For the person joining, you go to NetPlay, and you do the same thing, except instead of leaving this empty, you paste it. Press OK, and boom, that's it. We're playing online right now. Well, I'm playing against myself because I'm lonely, but, you know. <laughs> that's basically how it works. And you basically, that's it. You just load, and you just play the video game. It looks a little choppy only because, well, I'm running a bunch of shit. Just look at this stuff. But that's, all, that's it, really. Um, so that's it. You just That's how you play online. Um, the important notes, though. There are uh, important factors to this. Um... Oops, sorry. The important there are important factors to this. Um, well, number one, you um, you have to make sure your Eichmann is the exact same as the opponent you're facing. If it's like a private Eichmann, make sure you and your friend have the exact same characters and stages in the same order and whatever. Uh, if you're playing like a bigger game or like a project, for example, make sure you have the exact same version of that game with your opponent. If it doesn't work, if it, if that if you have different versions, you will either desync, which means you won't move or you'll automatically disconnect without pressing anything, or it won't even connect at all. So keep that in mind. You must have the exact same icon of whoever you're playing against. All right, so that's basically it. If you're port forwarding, the uh, your host gives them your their IP and you join it, and it's exact same process. And it's it's also the same process with any other program you're using, whether it's Evolve, Tungle, Hamachi, Zero Tier, anything of that matter. It's just the same thing. Now, let's talk about certain cases where um, some people, because some people have this, actually a lot of people have had issues with Eichmann uh, saying, oh, how do I connect? It doesn't necessarily work. Like, it, they might not connect to a specific person, but connect to others. 
the first thing to do is obviously that, uh, that firewall thing, like you just saw earlier. Make sure both are checked in. Uh, for Evolve, um, there are certain cases where, for example, your opponent might pop in, and they'll say online here, but offline here, or whatever the case may be, but they can still type to you and whatever. To, uh, for them, what they have to do is they have to go to their start menu, or, you know, control panel, whatever, and just look up device manager. Just look up your device manager. And, um, when you click on that, you'll have a bunch of stuff. Um, you'll have this. You'll have something like this, and you'll have a bunch of other, all this other shit. The important thing to look for is network adapters. And look look for this, Evolve Virtual Ethernet Adapter. Just double click on that, and it'll give you some stuff here. Now go to Advanced tab and go to MAC address, and make sure this is set to zero. If, it's, if it says all offline for them, um, they will not have this, or they'll have some other shit. Just press zero, OK, and just restart your Evolve. Sometimes it might take a while for them to connect, so just wait for them. If it says connecting and it still says connecting, just wait, and it'll eventually appear. Um, if there's any other extra errors or whatever, just make sure you Google them. I've had an error once where Evolve just would not work at all, and I managed to fix that thanks to some Google searching. But that's genuinely how it works. If you're port forwarding and your opponent doesn't join you, make sure your ports are open. You know, you can check out sites for that, just to make sure your, your port is open. And that's it. Oh, one thing important to note, um, replays. I've seen countless, I've seen countless of people, let me just exit Evolve real quick. I've seen countless people record their matches online live and complain about lag for both the game and the video, and they'll blame Eichmann for it. Not necessarily the case. Unless you're live streaming, you don't have to record everything live, because guess what? Eichmann has a replay feature. Wow, really? Yes, Eichmann has a replay feature. It's really cool. Uh, unless you're live streaming, you know, which in that case, you know, you can live stream the replays if you want, but if you're live streaming the actual matches, just make sure your connection's good, you know, you have a really good internet, or your PC's really good and you can handle multiple stuff at a time. Uh, for people who just want to record or want to share their replays, this is how the replay function works. When you have your Eichmann, you'll notice a little mode here called replay. Uh, there might be something else like replay channel or whatever the case may be if you're playing on a different Eichmann or whatever, but um, generally this is the place. And to do this, uh, you simply go to replay. Now, to save in like replays and stuff like that, there's a folder here called replay. You double click on that, and um, it'll be this netplay.replay. Or if there's like if you're playing revival, you know, my project, it'll be named insert new name.replay. It's all the same thing. Um, it'll make that whenever you play Eichmann, like for um, it'll generate this, it'll overwrite, or it'll just make a replay of this. Even if you're not playing online and you're just waiting, it will make its own replay file. Excuse me. Uh, the replays save as soon as you finish the online matches, so don't rename the replay if your online match is not finished. So, you know, you finish your match and you want to show your friend what you got, or you just want to upload it to YouTube. So you take your replay, you right click it or press F2, and you just rename it to something. Like, let's say uh, your opponent versus, uh, you know, you can name it that. You can name it whatever you want. I like to name it my opponent versus Zeus, so like if I have like a specific match where two people are fighting uh, and I can put their names on, I like to do that. Or you can just name it, name it whatever you want. Uh, so to view, so just to show you exactly what I mean, anytime you play online, and even if it's not like, even if you're like just waiting, it will make a replay file automatically. And you exit, and your replay file is saved. Let's just delete that. To view replays, you take the copy of whatever replay you want to watch, you copy it, and you paste it, and you rename it to. Netplay. This is for regular, um, this is just for any Eichmann. You just rename it to netplay.replay, go to the replay channel, and look, it's that match I was having. <laughs> so, and that's basically it. You can also fast forward the matches by holding the attack buttons. Of course, I ended it there. So, yeah, you can uh, hold the attack buttons to fast forward it if you want to get to a specific thing. And I recommend recording replays like that, especially if you want to upload it. You, I recommend doing that just recording the replays you won't get any lag unless your computer sucks like really bad but generally um that's how uh i record matches and that's how you know you should record matches unless you're doing a live stream and you know your pc's good and your internet's good then you know you can do that and no lag but uh it's best to record replays because a lot of people tend to miss this little nit this little thing here and it's really good 
So yeah, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I know it's 15 minutes, a little longer than I expected, but I'll make timestamps in the description. Hope you enjoy this. The downloads for uh, for the stuff I mentioned, like the Eichmann, Evolve, etc., are in the description. Thanks for watching. Peace out and subscribe, Penanguses.